Hey guys. Um, okay. So Leanne's condition is is deteriorating, which is to be expected. Um, urine output is very um, is a lot. It's diluted. Um, it shows it's just increased pressure in the brain. Um, uh, diabetes insipidus. It's all related. It's just now she just started um, having a more apnea type breathing where it's irregular so um it's just a matter of time just pray that we don't have to move her um what i will say is this different came in started weeping had a chance to pray for her uh, a couple of nurses, uh, I, there was a friend that said, we're praying that God sends you angels. And he did. Some very sweet um, uh, nurses uh, and our friend in Ohio had a chance to sing to Leanne. Um, and I prayed with those two nurses and preaching of the gospel and a dedicated holy life to Jesus. And I prayed for those women. The Holy Spirit was like, Woo! and all of us were like, whoa. Uh, and uh, I, I've been praying, Lord, how do I minister to these people? And um, uh, it was amazing. And these are the strawberry fields. And um, there's this harvest. And uh, it was a dr I'm re referencing a dream that Leanne had years ago. And, um, and there's a prayer of like, dedication. And, and it's like I saw them ministering out in the field, a, a wilderness sort of thing. And it was the, the women were both like, the more and more they came in, the more invigorated they were. And, it's, and then it's like they could just got a jolt in the one who was a student. She said, I feel like it's in my veins. It's all through my body. She's like, this is unbelievable. I said, yeah, that's the blood of Jesus. And she said, yeah, who needs caffeine? <laughs> uh, I will also say that I went to the um, uh, um, dining facility downstairs. And one lady, the cashier, she's like, oh, I... Uh, you know, so how are you doing today? You know, I've seen you here a while. And I said, well, my wife was taking off life support and, you know, she's had some complications and hopefully I won't be here anymore. And she just looked at me with this face and she said, you're good. Go. God bless you. And she paid for my breakfast. Um, the neurosurgeon came in and just looking concerned, making sure that everything's okay. And, um, And, you know, it's like anything you need, just please tell me. Um, I sent him some links, you know, we chit-chatted. Guys, there's still hope for America. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. There's still hope for America. And you want to know why? Because the love of many is still warm. It's not cold. In the last days, it says the love of many will grow cold. In Minnesota, it's not cold. Even though the state is cold, physically, uh -uh. where we are, there is many who are warm. People have come to the house. My mom, who is very generous, offered to pay for some of these people who brought food or whatnot. And the neighbors were like, no, we don't want your money. This is what we do. We're family. And my mom's like, I don't understand this. This is amazing. And we keep telling her, look, Ima, it's Jesus. Jesus has a plan for Minnesota, for this nation. One more time till they all come home hallelujah to the lamb of god who takes away the sin of the world in jesus name be blessed be encouraged be strengthened amen